Okay, so here's the, here's the amazing argument that you can count the rational numbers. So I'm going to have, I'm going to instead make a grid, like a graph. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then I'm going to let these points going on forever be fractions. So this will be the top of my fraction. This will be the bottom of my fraction. For example, this point is 1 over 1. This point here is what? 3 fourths. 3 fourths. So 3 over 4. When all the points with when all the points on the center line be 1. That's right. This point here would be 2 over 2. This would be 3 over 3, 4 over 4. So that means I'm even counting more than the rational numbers here because in, in, in some sense 2 over 2 and 1 over 1 are the same. Yeah. So I've got more dots than rational numbers. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. some dots are counting the same rational number twice. Yeah. So that's good. So if I can show that more dots are the same as the integers, that must mean what? The rational numbers. Wait. The more dots are the same, the rational numbers should be the same. Well, if more dots if more dots than the rational numbers are the same as the integers. So that means the rational numbers would be bigger. Or bigger. Equal? No. Well, yeah. So why why do I know for sure that the rational numbers can't be smaller than the integers? Because we the rational numbers contain the integers. The rational numbers contain the integers. One over one, or sorry, it goes up this way. One over one, two over one, three over one, four over one. The rational numbers contain the the. Sorry, I'm saying integers. I mean natural numbers. The rational numbers contain those the natural numbers. So it can't be smaller because they're inside of them. Yeah. And I'm counting something that's bigger than the rational numbers. And if I can show that the thing that's bigger than the rational numbers is the same as the integers, and I know that the rational numbers can't be smaller than the integers, that must mean what? The, they have to be bigger no. or equal. Why can't, if the, the thing I'm counting is bigger than the rational numbers, yeah. yes. and I'm going to show the thing I'm counting which is bigger than the rational numbers, so here's my rational numbers, which are sometimes called Q, here's what I'm counting, it's bigger than the rational numbers. I'm going to show this thing that's bigger is equal to the integers or, or the real the natural numbers. That, that means the rational numbers would have to be smaller than the integers. Right, I and mean, it would mean the rational numbers might be smaller than the integers, but I know they're not smaller than the integers because why? Because, because they contain the integers. Because they contain the integers. So if they might be smaller than the integers, but they're they contain the integers, what's the only choice? They're they have to equal. be equal. They have to be equal to the integers. Okay, that's the point. I'm counting something that's bigger than them. I'm showing the thing that's bigger than them is equal to the natural numbers. But I also know that the rational numbers can't be smaller than the natural numbers, so they have to be the same size. Yeah. Okay? Sorry, I, I think I made a simple concept there kind of confusing. So what do I have to do to show that two things are the same? We talked about that yesterday. We, we, have, we could create like a bisection. Bijection. Bijection. We create a bijection. So I have to, I have to match the, na the natural numbers, one, two, three, four, with exactly with these rational numbers. But how? And it has to go forwards and backwards, one to one, and it has to hit all of them. Yeah. And there's an incredible little, s so you might think if I just had it head this way, yeah. or head up, I'm, all, I, I'm never going to get off this line, because I have to go all the way up to infinity. Yeah. And so I think it was Cantor also who solved the problem in the most absolutely clever way. You, s you go like a snake. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, mm. twenty, twenty-one. You huh. snake. You snake, and if I would have put this dot in the right place, you make the snake. And do I hit all the points in the grid? Yes. Do I ever hit a point twice? No. Nope. Are there any blanks? No. And if I asked you where the thousandth number was, could you just follow the grid and count to it? Yeah. yeah. What about a million? Yeah. Yep. What about ten million? Well, eventually, yes. Yeah. You could actually write down an explicit formula. So I go counting the integers down this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I know where I go. I can write them down. And then the formula is going to take me back. I can, you can write down a formula. It's going to be a complicated formula, but the formula will take you right back, and every number here will go back exactly to the right place. Hmm. So what do you think about that? Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. 
pretty neat. But here's the amazing thing. I'm going to I'm going to show you now that I hardly believe what I'm about to show you myself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. 